Allerdings sind wir nicht wirklich tot, denn ich werde jetzt mal die Überlebenspille einsetzen. Was auch der einzige Trick daran ist. Boss, you have to shoot me. I can't. Shoot me. You want to finish your mission, don't you? Then you'll have to shoot me. The spirit of the warrior will always be with you. Don't be sad. We'll meet again someday. Und wir haben es geschafft. Snake, are you all right? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was... Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with... Well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigin? Yo! I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Salino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you alright? Yeah. I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. So, und wie es aussieht, sind auch schon 
einige Soldaten auf der Suche nach mir. Und ich werde aber auch erst einmal ganz kurz hier abspeichern, bevor ich hier weitermache. Ja, mein Schätzchen. Snake, have you ever seen North by Northwest? Miss that one. It's about this ordinary guy who runs an ad agency. He's mistaken for someone else and gets kidnapped and forced to do a certain job. As a result, he gets tangled up in a conspiracy, and pretty soon he's traveling to New York, Chicago, and even Mount Rushmore in pursuit of the real culprit. Hitchcock's films always keep you on the edge of your seat, but sometimes they can be funny when you least expect it. That's why I love them. Have you seen all of his films? All of them? Oh, not even close. He's been making movies since before I was born. I guess I might have seen some of them on TV. But the first movie I ever saw in the theater was a Hitchcock film. We all went and saw it as a family. It was Rebecca. This was when you were a kid? Yeah, my parents loved watching movies, so they took me along. I didn't quite understand the plot, but for some reason I thought it was really scary. Actually, I remember the candy bar they bought me on the way home better than the movie itself. That's when you fell in love with movies? You could say that. It was like an irresistible force at that point. I was completely swept away. So, wir haben den Wasserfall überlebt. Wir haben den Albtraum mit The Sorrow durchstanden. Oh shit, ich hätte den Pilz nicht essen sollen. Wieso habe ich den Pilz gegessen? Und wetten, ich habe kein Heilmittel? Doch, Serum. Nee, halt da. Serum. Nee, Gegenmittel. Genau, den Sender lassen wir drin. So, und jetzt müssen wir uns nur noch hier durchschleichen. Um zu Iba zu kommen. So, und eins wollte ich noch mal gucken. Habe ich denn... Nein, habe ich nicht. Ich kann mich nicht mehr ausrüsten. Wieso kann ich mich nicht ausrüsten? Ja, Mist. So, nein, ich muss hier wieder raus. So, und anscheinend sind hier welche auf der Suche nach mir. Und ich weiß gar nicht, wo ich lang muss. Schauen wir doch mal hier rüber. Momentan sehe ich auch noch niemand, aber die Anzeige sagt uns definitiv, dass nach uns gesucht wird. Und wir werden einfach Ausschau halten. Ich sehe aber niemanden. Ist das jetzt ein gutes oder ein schlechtes Zeichen? Wir folgen weiterhin flussaufwärts. Da ist jemand. Und da auch. Deshalb schleiße ich mich mal ganz kurz hier unten lang. Lebensmittelmedizin. Äh, Lebensmedizin, das ist schon mal ganz gut. Und da oben haben wir einen der uns aber eigentlich nicht sehen dürfte. Und das ist jemand von der Ocelot Unit. Momentan sind wir noch ganz gut getarnt, zumindest in den Büschen. Und da oben ist jemand. Und wir warten, bis der sich umdreht wo ich ja auch nur einen Schritt weiter krabble. Krieche meine ich. Da hinten ist auch mal jemand. Fuck it. So, schnell hier rein. weiter. 
Da hat mich jemand gesehen. Ich werde hier einfach weitergehen. Ah, shit, die haben mich entdeckt. Hoffentlich stört das nicht. Denn ich bin durch. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. Und ja, wir werden natürlich noch mal abspeichern. No thanks. <clears throat> Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Mm. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> What a thrill. The darkness and silence through the night. Snake. Thank you, Snake. I'll be your eyes from now on. I'm searching and I'm melting to you. What a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Are you all right? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Snake, come here for a minute. 
There's something in here. It's so hard. Oh. When did it get like that? Hold still. Let me do it. You know, I've been trained to do this kind of thing myself. Just relax and let me handle it. Okay. I can't believe how small it is. Yeah, but it gets the job done. Really? Here, lift up your hips. <laughs> like this? Yeah. How's that? You're pretty good at that. Yeah, everybody tells me that. Hold steady, I'm not done yet. There, a transmitter. Uh, is that how they do it in the KGB? Sometimes. Would you rather I did it American style? <laughs> but how'd you know there was a transmitter lodged there? That's some female intuition you've got. Didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohod's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohod itself. So I should blow up the tanks. That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted? Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. Mm, so what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission, either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohod's hangar. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. 
You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me.